Hello everybody, welcome to another video. I'm Alex Antuna and today I'm going to jump into Marmoset Toolback 4. So I love this program. I love texturing inside of here, but there's times where I just want a square texture to apply on a basic material or basic model in another program. So what I'm going to do is start with a simple primitive, create a plane. This is a, a little bit of a workaround to get this out of Marmoset with all these awesome textures and they have all this information and sometimes I'll blend between two materials to get a single material and you need to get it out of here and then it's just like well I don't really need it on a model to bake in different ways I want to use that texture as my own for a project so let's go ahead and create a new texture project I'm going to make sure that this is applied to the plane and I'll also link it down here to linked materials so now this is linked to the texture project let's go to layers and go ahead and apply something to this um, let me just start off with the top. Let me just grab this first one. We'll drop it in. So now we have our first texture. And if we were to adjust it, kind of like um, similar how you would do blending of the materials. And, you know, we just go back and forth. Just find something in here. We'll go to concrete, apply this on top. We'll multiply this to kind of have it show through lighten the colors so we can have like cracks on here so now we have like an interesting kind of ground to use to use as a floor possibly in another you know program one thing I'll point out is that this projection method does matter so you could keep it on UV triplanar works too but it's probably safer to keep it with this for uh, this little square and what I'll do is export this. So let's go ahead and do this first one to show this goes out. And there's a few things that I ran into and then I'll, I'll point out uh, how I worked around to get them corrected. Like say for instance, if I was gonna apply one of these uh, clouds or gradients, stuff like that. So let me go ahead and export this to a location, make a JPEG. And I had already did a test earlier, but I had messed up something. So. That was the first first uh, test of the video. A lot of these videos aren't always in one sitting. Sometimes it's a, a few back and forth to kind of minimize you watching all my errors. So let's go to Photoshop. I'm going to jump in here. I'm going to go ahead and drop in um, my material. I need to export it first. So now I have a material. I'm going to drop it in. So let's go to filter to offset it just to show that there's no seams on here. Okay. Let's close this out. I'm gonna jump back in a tool bag. So that worked. That was that was one method. And we can even offset this. We can um scale this down to see how this um will react. Let's just do a 45, export it again. Okay, let's go into here, drag it in, offset, it's still seamless. Okay, so that seems to work. Let's go to tool bag again, and let's go ahead and apply a cloud, cloud gradient. So let's multiply this down. And we'll probably give it a color so we can see it a little better. Not that one. Let's give it something brighter. Um, we only need the color. And maybe, maybe something like that. We'll increase this intensity so we can actually see it going through. Um, that might work. So what I would like to do is export this out and I'll show you how this will look so let's check if this is seamless as it should be update 
Now let's go to filter and offset. So now you can start to see that seam. And I kept running into this issue to try to figure out how to fix this. So let's go back to tool bag. And we should have properties for this. So let's go to this projection method. And we're going to go to UV right here. So now it should be a UV scale. If I export this, export all, and do it again. I'm going to update this model or this image. Go to update. So now if I offset it, it's seamless. So another thing that I ran into to kind of correct, I was trying to adjust the scaling here. And if you do use that, it'll do it again. It'll it'll export it with um, tiling. You'll see the tiling. I'll show you. For example, I just changed that. Uh, update we can update it here offset and now you see that that it's repeating again so what I had to do was go back in here and so we can set this back to one and instead of using this tiling on the projection method let's just use this one and so now you can actually scale this way so now you should be able to get a seamless texture from here export it again a little bit of a back and forth on this video just to kind of explain a lot what's going on so let's go here let's update it so now we got the big cloud and let's offset so now you can start to see that it's seamless so that's one way of getting out materials from here as a as a square texture so the next issue I ran into was say for instance I want to start using the paint layer and this was something that kind of like it, it was a little kind of tricky to figure out a, a method to make this work so if I go here and I stroke to the left it doesn't repeat to the right so one workaround and it's it's kind of a long workaround but if you really need a texture and this is something you need this might be best to save a scene with this already set up the way I'm about to show you so let's go back into so the other workaround that I was explaining is to duplicate this and what we will do is duplicate offset it so we're gonna go to one way or another left or right so we're gonna have another duplicate about right here so it should be pretty even so it looks like it's a thousand and we can duplicate another one. We'll select the main one, duplicate, drag it up, and this should be a thousand. So now, if I go into my texture project to actually paint, you should be able to carry this across. So if I grab a paintbrush and drag it across, it's now seamless. This is a kind of a long workaround to do this but to be honest you could really just create a scene and save this as your you know square texture paint project right and go from there so now you do have a repeating texture that works and so um, it's up to you how you want to use this but I just thought I'd share a few methods that I've come across to try to get this you know this, this is I love this program I don't want to jump into another program so a little bit of work around to get it to work but then once you get this set up it should be easier after you set it up one time and I've only discovered this today so I, I really wanted to share this with others who love this program as much as I do so hopefully this helped and thank you for watching